In this final installment of our five-part video series on the pump sleeve and the inflatable pump drum, we will look at some of the practical information having to do with the actual use of the tool. When it comes to proper inflation of a pump drum, the first thing to remember is never use an air compressor to inflate your drum. Pump drums generally use very little air pressure, and when inflating your drum with an air compressor, a large volume of air is released into the bladder in a very short time. This inflation method can make it very easy to overfill and possibly burst the bladder. We recommend using a small hand pump, like a bicycle pump instead. This will allow you to check after every two or three pumps until you've reached desired firmness. Since the pressure in the drum needs to be adjusted to fit the type of workpiece, it would be presumptuous to tell you that you need, for instance, 10 psi of air pressure. It all depends upon the particular shape of the workpiece you are working on and what you are trying to achieve. Just feel the firmness of the drum to determine whether that amount of air pressure is right for your application. As a rule, low air pressure allows for better conformability and higher air pressure attains the opposite result. So Nick, could you tell me about pressure on the workpiece while sanding? To achieve the best result from your inflatable pump drum sander, it will require the best combination of bladder pressure and pressure put on the workpiece while sanding. Too little pressure on the workpiece will not allow the sander to conform to the contour and will not allow the abrasive to cut as it should. Too much pressure will cause the abrasive to cut too deeply. It will also prematurely wear out the abrasive material and could potentially shorten the life of your sander. So Nick, what happens if I run into an issue where I need to clean my pump sleeve? There are many different oils and resins in wood that can affect the life of a coated abrasive. During heavy use, the abrasive begins to heat up, causing the resins to become more liquid and gather on the abrasive grains. This is known as loading. Cleaning sticks work like large abrasive erasers that clean most of the loading from your pump sleeves and, in essence, bring them back to life. The trick to proper usage of a cleaning stick, though, is to use it while the abrasive is still warm. If you allow the abrasive to cool before trying to use the stick, the loading will dry in place and you will be able to remove very little from the surface. Thank you for joining us for our pump sleeve video series brought to you by Klingspore Abrasives and Klingspore's Woodworking Shop.